Well, have you seen him? Have you seen this amazing creature, this hare, Herbert the hare here, that is his name. Now we are welcoming today uh, Bruce uh, Dobson uh, here at Hochanda. So we have got the man and Bruce here. Hello, Bruce. Hi, Paula. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Are you excited? Yes, a little nervous, but... Well, don't you worry. Hopefully I now, get over that. You have come very well accompanied by all these creatures that you have created. Thank you. They Thank are you. absolutely stunning. I mean, look at Herbert. I mean, look at the personality, the size of it. I mean, when when you see it beside me, it's just like it's basically the same size as me. Uh, let's be honest. Uh, now, what you have got, of course, is different kids. Now, Bruce, can you tell us a bit how you got involved with Felty and how you started developing your own projects? Well, my wife's a teddy bear artist, so I was going around the country to teddy bear fairs with my wife. Yeah. And I thought instead of sitting here doing nothing. I'll, um, I must do something myself. So, actually, she came, she gave me a book on felting, and it started from there. I, I bought one or two kits, and uh, watched a few videos, and that was it. I was hooked. That is so cute, and of course, that is the panda. Now, you will you were talking about how you are going to demonstrate how to do the most difficult elements of each kit. Yes. So this one, of course, we have got here, the panda. Now, of course, do stay tuned to see exactly how to put assemble it. But, of course, it comes with instructions, but also it comes in with uh, the wool that we need to felt with. Yes. Then we have got, as well, the... Uh, now, what is this for? That's a felting stick. Oh, that's what I call a felting stick. I'll demonstrate that if you Perfect. like. Perfect. The biggest problem that people seem to have with needle felting is that they're frightened of hurting themselves basically these needles are very sharp and if you stick them into your finger it does hurt I can promise you I've done it myself did it a lot when I was first started needle felting but now I've developed a technique which use a what I call a felting stick it's a barbecue skewer and to achieve the shapes that you want all you do is wrap your wool this is carded corridale wool which is my favorite wool it felt so really easily. Wrap it round the felting stick until you get to the correct shape that you want. And then you just felt it into place. And you, your fingers are going to be nowhere near the wool or the needle. So in that way, you can build up the kit. And each kit comes with a full set of instructions. You've got all the wool, as Paula said. You've got threads that you need. The whipping twine is mm -hmm. what you use to join it up because each one of these kits, they all articulate. They're all poseable. The head rotates, arms and the legs. And that's called thread jointing. So I'll show you how to do uh, that later on. Of course, perfect. Now, of course, if you want to go for the panda kit, uh, we will join Bruce again for the, the, the for the full demonstration in a few minutes. But look at the panda, how gorgeous. And that kind of articulation that you can you see like here. Panda, Hello. Hello. Hello, Hotanda, everybody. He's so he cute. It's the Hotanda Panda. Uh, 033527 is your item number. And look at the price, £12.99. Of course, it gives you the form as well that you, uh, you are fighting against. And of course, you have got the instructions as well. Now, we have got here, look at him. This is a teddy. Look, look how beautiful and delicate. It's just so soft. £12.99 is the price. And look how they are articulated. So you can uh, put oh and I could imagine people making little dresses as well if you want it and make it little kind of hats and things like that to then kind of give it a name be give it a little bit of personality zero three nine six three one is your item number and of course these are the contents of your case in which you can then finish your teddy bear teddy actually uh, now of course then we are going to the rabbit and oh, look at that this is Natasha rabbit oh look at that this is that she Look at that, look at that. Oh, this one is very popular. I love how you have done even the catch lights in his eye. Yeah, it does correct it, doesn't it? As soon as you put the highlight in the eye, it brings the whole face alight. 
Hello everyone, I'm on, on TV. Oh, who knew that I could be on TV? Uh, now, of course, if you want to go for the rabbit needle felting kit, 12 pounds and 99 pence, and the contents, of course, of the wool, uh, the needles that you need, of course, the of course the beautiful, um, you know, like you can see it here, the, how gorgeous, the true tone to create that perfect, uh, Rabbit. So 333618 is your item number. 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Now moving on to the Westie. Now the Westie is just, I think many people who have got a Westie will want to do this one. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the good look at the personality. And then, hello. Yeah, so it's a little bit, you know, oh, look at that. And then rotating. And of course it has got that like the tail and everything. Now you are getting here, of course, the wires to create that body. And of course, um, Bruce was show, they were telling us that you can add it and to make it into a diff slightly uh, different breed if you wanted to. One, two, five, four, three, eight of Chihuahua, basically, I think it was. 22 pounds and 19 and pence is the price for that bundle. And of course, uh, finally, it, if you want to create an owl, how majestic is an owl? How absolutely stunning, look at that. It just kind of has got that in flat look in here. Look, uh, uh, you can see there. And of course, you are getting the instructions to create the barn owl. And of course, your item number is 820963, 20 pounds and 99 pence. And you would be able to make, and I'm going to rotate it because this is one of those creatures that, um, you know, even their feet, look at that. How gorgeous is that? And then of course, there's wings that you can move and you can then play. Look at that, because it's articulated. Oh, look at that. Oh, I, I mean, I just not make it a little bit. I like that. I like it. Oh, isn't it magnificent? Uh, 820963 is, of course, the Barn Owl uh, kit, felting kit. And let's head back to Bruce to see the first demonstration. Good. Thank you, Paula. I'd like to, first of all, say hello to all my social media followers and I uh, thank them for all the lovely messages of support I've had from them, especially from my Facebook group members, Bruce's Needle Felted Characters. Thank you. So the kits all contain a full set of instructions, a diagram to show you the shapes that you want to achieve using the felting stick, and then comprehensive, easy to follow instructions. They really are easy to follow. Uh, stage by stage, colour photographs. Oh, the uh, rabbit is very popular. The rabbit has always been very popular. Probably my best selling uh, kit. And also, I mean, I've tested these kits out on uh, I have needle felting workshops at home near York. And these can be completed in three to four hours by a complete novice. There's nothing complicated uh -huh. at all in making these little creatures. And you've got a lovely little character, three to four inches tall, totally poseable. In the kits, you've got all the threads that you need, the felting stick, a large darning needle to put the components together, two felting needles, and a sewing needle. Now, once you've got all the pieces together, uh, sorry, all the pieces made, you've got to connect them together. And you do that using the whipping twine and your large darning needle. All right. So, and basically what you do is okay. put it through, I won't thread it up, but go right through the base of the leg, yeah. through the base of the, the body, Make sure you've got the leg going upwards with the toes upwards. Head it, keep it towards the back. And you go right through, put the other leg on. Oh. Get it the right way up. And then reverse, go all the way back again, then tie it off. And you, you'll end up like that. And then just fill these little holes in that you've made and cover up the uh, knots with the uh, little bit of spare wool you have. And it's the same for joining the head. The thing with the head is that you've got to make sure that you're completely vertical. Okay. Goes right up through the middle of the body, through the head, and back down again, and tie off at the bottom, 
and then fill the hole in and you'll end up with a thread jointed head. Look at Simple that. as that. Nothing complicated about it at all. Probably the most difficult piece is making the ears. Oh, but how do we make them then? Well, you, you don't need a lot of wool. That's probably a bit too much. And then felt it into a triangle. Felt a triangle. And then turn the edges in as you go. Could we use the mat that we have got the blue mat form that we are, it's included in the kit for this step? No, what I recommend, Daddy Pop brought that up. I include two felting needles, but I, I really do recommend that you buy one of these. They're less than £10. And they hold up to three needles. They come with needles, but you can fit your own needles or whatever needle. You can have short, fine needles or long, coarse needles. Um, and you just unscrew it, pop the needles in, I see, yeah. and then close it up again. But you can get those over the internet okay. within 24 hours. Mm. Uh, and I say they cost about seven, seven or eight pound. Okay. Um, but otherwise, you've got everything there. And as I say, to um, continue with me here, keep, just keep pulling the sides in and felting it until you get a, a shape like that. Leave a little tuft, that's handy for um, joining onto the head. And then you can felt a little bit of contrast wool onto the inside just to make it look attractive of course. and then it's a case of just attaching it to the uh, head and uh, we yeah. would sew that or sorry how do we attach it to the uh, head just use a needle just okay. felt a needle uh, use your felting needle and hold it onto the head and just felt it down into place oh, I see. and you, what you can do is use a little bit of spare wool just on the base of it yeah. which helps to join it together. Ah. But all that is uh, comprehensively illustrated in the booklets. Okay, and every kid comes with its uh, own instructions. Absolutely, yeah. Tailor made to each particular character. So we'll move on, shall we, Paula? Yeah, of course, yeah. We, we, what other uh, demo, yeah. What other element you next want to show one, us? Next, we go on to the. Um, the Westie. The Westie. Ooh, well, do you want me to, do, do you need to re reset it? Do you want me to re yes, give you? Yes, yeah. Okay, get, perfect. Get so I will, I will give you a reminder, of course, of the panda. Uh, now the panda, look at him. Isn't that adorable? Now it's very, very popular. Oh, I love him. Uh, do we have a name for the panda? Bruce? Panda. Panda. Oh, can he be Paula the panda? Paula. The panda. I like good, that. Good, good idea. Yeah. Just it's because Henry, Henry Teddy Bear, or Henry Bear, because okay. and Natasha Rabbit. Yeah. After my grandchildren. Oh, well. But I haven't got a name for panda. It's always been panda, and, and we haven't got a panda. It could be Paula panda. Yeah, it can, it can be. Well, I don't just because I, uh, it goes with my hair. Uh, <laughs> panda. Now, of course, look at how adorable he or she is. Oh, he, and it's just the smile that he has got. Of course, he has got the eyes. And remember, you are getting in here the instructions on how to make the step by steps. The, the blue form, so you can, of course, felt into. And of course, you have got those needles and the beautiful yarn to create it. Even the thread to sew it together to kind of add it that beautiful mouth as well. And of course, you can keep your tools in, in your tools, your needles inside the, the tube in here. So they are safe. 033 is your item number <coughs> 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price <coughs> excuse me <coughs> just just gonna the other you way <laughs> Oh, yes. oh, and then, of course, we have got the <laughs> lovely Teddy, uh, Teddy, Henry, the te Teddy, Henry. Henry. Oh, look. Henry Bear. Oh, Henry Bear. I look at him and I love the artic articulated uh, elements in here with the arms. And of course, look at that. £12.99 is the price. Uh, 039631 is your item number. Now, of course, then we have got Nat uh, Natasha the Rabbit and look at her. She's very popular. The rabbit is very, very popular. Look at those ears. Look how gorgeous they are. Very busy for this one, of course, with the catch lights on the eyes. I 
and of course remember that you're gonna get instructions on how to do them and how to put everything together and the yarn that you needed and the you and of course you well not yarn is is the wool that you're getting and of course you are getting the felting uh, sponge in here form and of course you're getting the tools of course that look at that needles those felting needles and of course the storage and how to keep them safe and um, from and you know be getting pricked um 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price uh three 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 uh, six one eight is your item number and then we are going to the westy which is adorable and i just i think it's something about the westy the shape the hair they, they have got that such personality and if you want to go for this one, 22 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Of course, it has got wire inside it, so you could make it maybe do it that it's doing like a hello. And uh, now, of course, uh, or you can make it. There we have it. <laughs> I love it. It's just I have got personality and you want to play with them. And of course, it is the joy of putting it together, even the joy of creating your own felt, a little tear. Oh, look at Westy. And now, of course, you have got uh, yeah, here the wool to create it. Of course, the metal that articulated, the, of course, the chenille, uh, so, it's so you can kind of create it as well. Look at that, look at that, this so good. Uh, now, um, one, two, five, four, three, eight is your item number. 22 pounds and 99 pence is the price. And then we have got the barn owl. Now, this is my favorite. Now, uh, what was the inspiration for to create the barn owl? Well, I just like birds, to be honest. Um, I've always been interested in ornithology. Um, and it was just another challenge. This is gorgeous. I d there is something incredibly regal about an owl. And I think this one captures that majestic nature. It captures the kind of inquisitive, wise eye, uh, you know, as well. You, it, it, it's just the like gorgeous and even the big and how everything works. And look look at that oh look at it. look at the beautiful colors coming through now you are not getting the wooden base but you know what you know you know that it's not you know they could get a branch maybe that has fallen off from the garden or something like this and of course you are getting the instructions on what uh, you are getting in here and of course you have uh, the beautiful you uh, uh, the beautiful wool in this gorgeous warm colors in here as well uh, 820963 is your item number Bruce are you ready for the next demonstration I am. Well, let's then take it away. Okay. Right, we're going on to the, the Westy now. And in the kit, you've got a felting pad, which comes with all the kits. A felting pad, felting needles, the same. You've got some one millimetre wire to make the claws, if you want to do the claws. Um, and all the wool and everything you need, plus some two millimeter wire which is used to make the armature so i'm going to demonstrate how you make the armature now to make the head and the front legs fold in half tightly there and if i can show you on this model one that i've half finished you don't want to go too far forward with the wire right into the muzzle because you're going to do a lot of felting work in the muzzle and you're going to end up breaking a lot of needles. So leave it fairly short of the nose. Then you need the legs. So bend them into shape like that. So that's the head, neck and legs. A Westie has got a fairly short neck, a lot shorter than that what would be a spaniel okay. as a spaniel oh, they have no. a, quite a long long neck long legs long body a uh, oh. westy or a chihuahua could be a chihuahua uh, yeah. is a relatively short neck short body and very short legs short fat hairy legs okay <laughs> i can't remember who did the short back oh Markham and wise that's right oh i see now we've got the head neck and front legs we need to create the body and the rear legs find the middle and then on either side of the middle just fold again and then you want to put the head and neck through there and where the two bends join twist them very tightly around 
Yeah. Yeah. Tighter the better. Okay. And then that's the body. Okay. And then there's two ways of doing this. You can either just twist that there and create the legs, or you can do it a little bit more complicated. There's not much difference really. This is probably a bit more stable, but you've got the body, rear legs, pinch these up together with uh, your pliers and your front legs, like that. So there's your armature. Okay, that's cool. And then it's just a case of um, wrapping the armature with wool. What I, for a, a Westie, because it's got short, fat, hairy legs, yeah. You've got plenty of room to play with, so you can wrap the armature with pipe cleaners, which just helps ah, the wool to stay onto the wire, otherwise yeah. it'll just slip off. Yeah. Um, or, if you're making something like a spaniel, or a greyhound, a doberman, something like that with long, uh, thin legs, what the best thing to do is to run some glue down the leg, then wrap it with wool, thinly, like that. Now the reason for that is to give you purchase, if you're making claws, and the claws are easily made, that you just get a piece, of, this is one millimetre wire, wrap some black wool around, put plenty of glue on, okay. PVA glue, wrap some a thin sliver of I mean, you don't need very much, no more than that. If you can see that again, okay. yeah. like that. And wrap that tightly around and work the glue into it. Then on top of that, to make the digits or the nails stay away from each other, spaced out, wrap some white wool or whatever colour you okay. want. I mean, if you're making a barn owl, you, you probably want to use the same technique, but probably use a yellow okay. wool. And then these are attached like that. You wrap the wire around that, and that wool will give those a little bit of purchase and stop them slipping off. So you obviously you need four claws for a dog, and you'll end up with claws like that. Oh, that's yeah? so cool. So it just gives you a little bit more realistic. Um, yeah. And all those instructions are included in the kit, of course. So when, when you have got this, for instance, the pipe cleaners wrapped around it, do you do put the wool around it? And then yes, yeah. Once you've got the, or the pipe cleaners, yeah. just wrap the wool around. Could you show us that bit? Because I yeah, well, there's, there's only two claws there. I'll just leave that for now. Yeah. Um, get okay, some white wool. Now, when you're wrapping, what you want to do is get a thin ribbon of wool. Okay. Tease it out. Yes. Until you get a nice long thin ribbon of wool. And it helps if you just just give it a bit of felt in uh, with your needles. What they will help? What this what will just help the fibres stick together. Okay so it doesn't pull apart. Oh, I see. And then you can tease it out even further then, so you get a really nice thin ribbon of wool. You want a ribbon rather than a rope. And you want to keep it that way as you wrap. So once you've got all the digits in place, wrap it round like that. I love it. Now, as you turn it, let go. Otherwise, if you kept on doing that, oh, you'll it would end be up with a string. Yeah. Yeah? But so you don't want that. You want a flat ribbon. And just every time twist, you're overlapping halfway. That's, a, that's such a top tip as well, yeah? because you can see how it's... And then you end up with a nice, thin leg. Yeah. Especially if you're doing a greyhound, because they've got really thin mm. legs at the bottom, of course. And basically, you do that all the way around the armature until you build up the shape that you want. Yeah? Yeah. 
and that's many times gone over yeah. and over. Yeah, and I mean, once you get to the body, you're using bigger ribbons yeah. and you lo a lot more wool. Another tip is that when you're felting, you'll always end up with lots of bits of wool, little bits yeah. of wool. Don't throw them away. Keep them, roll them up into a ball and stick them inside there. Stick them inside the armature and it'll save you an awful lot of wool. Ah, of course. That's a you can buy core wool, which is a bit cheaper than the felting, normal felting wool. But that, I mean, I always never throw away uh, any wool bits because they all go inside as core wool. So you carry on until you end up with a little critter like this. Now to make the tail, what you want is, if I find a, Okay, so. Oh, is that a flat nose? A little piece of, of um, pipe cleaner. Yeah, pipe cleaner. One thing I want to point out as well with these kits, with the Westie and the Barn Owl, you will need, certainly I recommend getting a multi needle holder. You will also need a pair of pliers or uh, cutters. Yeah. You'll need a plinth as well uh, right. uh, for the owl. When I come on to that, I'll show you. So, get your ribbon of wool again and just wrap that round. Uh, okay. Wrap it as tight as you can. Okay. Yeah and you keep on wrapping until you get to the right thickness oh, and that's basically your tail and then with a pair of sharp scissors just cut oh. into the bum yeah. push that in yeah. and wrap some wool around oh, it and felt yeah. into place so that is Bingo. the tail yeah easy 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 peasy and you make the ears the same as we showed before. But of course, the ears are important in a dog because every breed has a different shaped ear and it's characteristic of the dog's breed. So that's, I think, as you carry on, I mean, if you wanted to stop there, this is the Westie, in, uh, gone on a little bit further. It's got his tail and all his legs and his ears attached. You could leave it there um, and it's, a bit like a chihuahua, a little bit more work and it would be a chihuahua. One other tip, you want to, if you do that, you want a nice smooth finish. Now to achieve that, you need to, a lot of felting, a lot of poking with you. This is where it's handy to have a three needles. Once you get it well and truly fastened down, the wool fastened down, is to alter the angle of your needles and go in almost horizontal. And you know, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but as you're doing that, you really are flattening the wool and getting rid of all the stray ends as well. Yeah? Uh, of course. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But yeah, that's the way to achieve there. a smooth finish. Oh, yeah. So by felting Just, it further. Yeah. Felt it at a sh very sharp angle. That's right. Cool. Yeah, owl that's next. great. Thank you, owl next. <laughs> Well, of course, we we'll let you reset for the owl, that beautiful owl, owl. But I want to tell you, well, first of all, that the rabbit is very busy. So if you want to go for the rabbit, Natasha the rabbit, look at her. Isn't she adorable? Isn't she gorgeous? The details are on the screen. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. Three 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 six one eight. And of course, you will have the, all the materials to make this amazing uh, little creature, Natasha. Well, but a reminder of the panda. Now, if you want to go toward the panda <laughs> there we have him uh, well I, I just baptize him uh, or her actually as Paula or it could be Paul uh, now uh, look at that he wants to have a snooze actually he wants to go and sleep uh, now remember they are articulated of course uh, beautiful animals 12 pounds and 99 pence for the of course uh, the wool and of course the, the felting uh, mat as well of course the tools that you need for and the instructions they all essentials Zero, zero three three five two seven is your item number. 
Then we have got, look at him, uh, look, we have got Henry Bear, which is adorable, isn't he, with his articulated legs and of course the arms, look at that. Now, £12.99 is the price for the, 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 the wool that you are getting to create the perfect Henry Bear. And then of course, oh, just kind of making sure that he stays, oh, he wants to go and lay down on his bed, but I said, oh, he wants just to tickle, uh, that's what he wants. Let's put it. <laughs> <laughs> in here there, there. I'm not going to play with you anymore. Uh, 039631 is your item number, £12.99. And, and you behave when I'm out away. Uh, now, we have got uh, Natasha the Rabbit. And a quarter of the stock has already gone. Oh, look at that. Easy. I just love to play with them because they are just so adorable, even the details in here. Of course, you have got the, uh, uh, the uh, wool and you have got the, the felting tools and, of course, the all important instructions by Bruce so you know exactly how to put it together. 333618 is your item number. And then the Westie, of course, that, that demonstration on how to build a Westie, but also how to put it together with the legs, the tail. And of course, you can make it into different breeds by shortening the lens, by elongating the body, elongating the neck as well, or maybe making long, thin legs, maybe for a hound. Uh, now, of course, you have got in here the uh, the, the uh, metal as well. You can see it. That is a really nice bendable uh, wires in here. Now, of course, you have even get the pipe cleaners to wrap around those legs to make sure that when you're putting the felt or the, the, the wool, it will stick to it and it's going to be the make the whole process easier. And of course, they're all important instructions with this photography in step by in step. £22.99 is the price. One to five, four, three, eight is your item number. Uh, I love, uh, love, absolutely love the owl. Look, uh, look at the well, I'm going to say what I just said in my ear. So that should be the Powell, <laughs> uh, you know, the oh, first leg. Um, apparently, I've ruined it. Apparently, it's just, uh, yeah, that's what I do. But look at that. Look at the how gorgeous the feathering effect it is. And of course, you can put your own to your own, uh, like you, do, you know, the trunk here doesn't come with it. You just get your own piece of wood uh, to put it. But maybe it could be a branch, it could be a display. But look at the gorgeous nature of this. Uh, 820963 is your item number. Now, the, our director has a little one, and he wants uh, this owl to put it over the uh, bedroom. Of, uh, I think it's Edie's her, uh, is his daughter, so he kind of kind of flying over, protecting uh, protecting Edie uh, from um, you know. Anyway, uh, twenty pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. Eight two zero nine six three is the item number. But this is why these creatures, these animals, uh, bring. It's all that inspiration on how to incorporate them into your home, not only to how to create them, but also how to enjoy them once they come alive by you creating them. And of course, uh, uh, you know, Bruce is going to show us the uh, a little, uh, the next demonstration uh, next demonstration is backtracking onto the westie i'm afraid oh, because oh, i see I, I forgot to turn the chihuahua oh. into a westie okay well and to do that you need to apply some long fur and this is different wool this is roving wool you tell the difference by the fibers all run in one direction whereas with carded wool they're all mixed up together and yeah. that's a lot easier to felt this is more difficult, so it's usually used as a top covering. Okay. Um, or you can use alpaca uh, and other fibres as well. I've used goat hair in the past. Um, now, to apply the wool, you need to just tease it out. This is a super fine merino wool. And lay it on the body like so it's just below the level of the belly and then you want to felt down a ridge uh, sorry a, a band about a centimeter wide all the way down that band and then fold the top piece over and felt again on top Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Oh. And then, you obviously, you go all the way around the body, and you probably do another row, a little bit higher up, 
and then to finish off you'll go right across the top of the body and oh, put a seam down the yeah. middle and you go under the chin with very sharp pieces of wool right down the chest and probably around the top of the legs as well and over the top of the head and the face so but basically it's using the same technique you're just laying it on felting a band you need to cut it to size and you don't want any sharp edges like that so to get rid of that you turn into a Sweeney Todd or a hairdresser of some sort <laughs> and then you, you just cut into it feather it what's the word for it yeah. you do it feathering uh, I don't know what exactly it's called there, but... Some hairdresser thinning, will be thinning. able to tell us, but that's basically it. Thinning, and the favourite tool for this job is your, an old toothbrush. And just brush it out and brush out all the stray fibres. And there's... You can see how that would look when you're able to see it from there. Yeah, look at that. And you have it under here. Look at that. Look at that beautiful little dog in there. And of course you can see what Bruce was explaining by creating that line in the top of it. Uh, and of course creating that ridge. Now, of course, uh, Bruce, are you ready for something in the next, uh, next step? Nearly. Okay, nearly. <laughs> Just another dodge as well. Is if uh, you want to, instead of going all the way down the legs and the belly, but you want a furry look, is this is a reverse needle. Okay. Now, where's... With these needles, the barbs are all facing in, so you're pushing the fibres into the body. This, the, the, the barbs are pointing backwards. So if you, once you push it in, you pull it out and you're pulling the fibres out. And in that way, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you're pulling, can you see that? Yeah. You're pulling fibres out. Yeah, and that, you just need to cut those off. And there you are, you've got a fairy, fairy tummy. Or the legs are the ah. same. But that's a way of creating the same effect without going to the same uh, procedure like we did before. <laughs> so I think I've finished with the Westy. Yeah, that is the Westy, and of course the finished piece is here. Oh, it's just adorable, isn't it? And of course it's so soft, and of course that got a beautiful uh, kind of character with the legs. And I love the way that you can start doing this one, but of course you will learn the process on how to build a dog uh, out of felting, so you can articulate it into different uh, breeds if you wanted to. Uh, well, of course, if you wanted to, Westy, uh, your item number 125438 and 22 pounds and 99 pence is the item no, uh, the price for this amazing little creature and of course remember you are gonna get the wool you're getting the felting needle the instructions on how to create it now of course you have got different animal different animals that you can create depending on which kit uh, you are going for including the panda in here uh, and of course remember the panda has got like the lovely articulated like I just think it is, is absolutely adorable uh, 033527 is your item number 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price now of course then we have got the the henry the bear uh, now uh, and of course you have got him look at that isn't that adorable and i love because he's kind of at the smaller sort of size of the bears but of course it means that you have got a beautiful wool as well the kind of gray corrugated very busy for panda and for henry as well and if you want a teddy uh the item right, number zero three nine six three one twelve pounds and 99 pence is the price then we are going into natasha the uh, the, the rabbit and i love her uh, and of course her long ears and of course you have got those instructions and those templates as well now approaching 40 percent of the stock has already gone in so if you wanted to go for her for natasha you can do that your item number is three 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 six one eight and your price 12 pounds and 99 pence and then we're going to the Westy, uh, and of course we have got, uh, which is what uh, Bruce has uh, demonstrated here, and of course we have got him uh, here. Look at that adorable with the ear looks and the eyes. Look, at and I also like the, way, uh, the idea of giving him a, a 
wacky haircut. It wouldn't be cool to just have it. And of course, you can convert it, follow the instructions, but elongate that neck, and lengthen those legs to create a different breed of dog should you wish to. Uh, you have got the wool, all the wool, that kind of ma ma you know wire to kind of articulate it. And of course, the uh, pipe cleaners to make sure that wool will attach itself to it. One, two, five, four, three, eight is your item number. 22 pounds and 99 pence is the price. And then finally, we are going to have a look at the barn owl with that majestic nature, the wise owl. And of course, you can see it here that it has been positioned over a kind of a, a piece of wood. That is not included in the kit, but you have got the wool that to make the fabulous, majestic creature that is the barn owl. You are getting, of course, that article, that metal the wire that kind of bends, that easy bend in here to create, make sure that with the wings you can articulate it in different ways so look at that look at that it's flying majestically away like that uh, 820963 is your item number 20 pounds and 19 pence is the price now Bruce are you ready for the next demonstration well, well you have got about 13 minutes to right. be perfect. okay well we'll fly quickly through okay. oh, good one. just uh, to elaborate on the plinth, uh, being a tight Yorkshireman, <laughs> I, um, I don't buy plinths, I make them. I just go through our local park, pick up pieces of birch wood, chop them up into bits and varnish them and you end up with a lovely natural looking plinth. You can buy plinths off the internet of course, these ones cost about 10 to 15 pounds, these are a bit cheaper. You can also buy... Um, discs of wood as well but they're all available on the internet so you don't have to have uh, a plinth you don't have to have a plinth at all you could just put a thread through there and hang it from the ceiling yeah which absolutely. would be make a nice mobile for in a, in a in any room so to make the owl again including the kit there's no plinth you will need um, You'll have needles. I certainly recommend you get a multi-needle holder and you'll need wire cutters or pliers. So, you'll have two pieces of wire. Okay. Now, that's going to be... Barn owls have quite long legs. So, that, there's enough to go into a, a plinth, yeah. enough for its legs. That'll be its tail. Yeah. That'll be its head and body and back and down and into the legs and the plinth. Twist that together. There's two ways of doing this. This is slightly different to the one I show in the kit. Um, but either way, it doesn't matter. You end up with the same armature, basically. Now for the wings, there's the longer piece of wire and you want to put that through the base, through the tail portion and twist it into position so it's tight. It goes right back and through again, through into the body, neck, head, end and twist it so it's in position. So that's going to be one wing. and bring that round and push it back in and tie them off yeah yeah so try to get the wings roughly the same size it does help otherwise your barn owl will be crushing to the ground <laughs> yeah. and then just twist these wires around the body cut them off what you don't need so you end up with a tail Two legs that will go into the plinth, the body and the head end. Yep. Yep. Something like that. But this is not, a, this is an armature for a chicken because they have a much longer oh. body and much longer neck. And then to make the claws the same way as I described before, but you might want to call them a different sort of wool. and then. The beauty of them doing like this, you can cut the toenails, amazing, but you c you'll be able to cut, prune the nail or trim the nails 
as you want without the wool fraying off them because they're well and truly glued in position. They're really quite firm. Um, they need a bit of tidying up these legs, but and then once you've got the wire, the nails and the toes, the digits in position, the claws, wrap the wool around to get the right shape of leg that you want. And then you should end up with something like this. Now, oh, this is, there's a bit, oh, that's adorable. This is quite a small one, so being small, I haven't bothered putting claws and it would be very difficult to get claws. You could try, but I don't think it's necessary. But this would make an ideal mobile, just cut off there, cut the legs off and hang it, or it would fit into a, an armature, of course. Now, what I'm going to show you is to make the wing. And you start off with some white carded wool. It comes in sheets, and you can separate the sheets. If anybody's my age, you remember beer mats. <laughs> used to be able to pull beer mats apart. Um, it's very much the same as... Isn't with carded wool, you always get a bit of farmyard in it. Yeah. It's very clean, it's been washed, thoroughly washed and disinfected. But you always end up with a little bit of farmyard in it. Yeah. And then lay it on your wing and wrap it over. You don't want it too thick. Yeah. Wrap it round and then... It takes a lot of felting. You could be. This could take an hour of felting to get both wings done. Well, well, we can yeah. be here for about about ten minutes. We could be there. <laughs> Look. But uh, that's simple. Basically, though. that's what you do until you get. And you need to get the end of the wo of the wing really firmly felted. Um, and on top, you let just lay some coloured wool. Uh, on top and felt that down in position. But as I was saying, you need to get this back edge, especially this edge here, really firmly felted. And it can take an awful long time felting away with the small needles. So that you can create feathers. And you create the feathers by just cutting into the felt yeah. like that. I don't know if you can see that all right on screen. Yeah, we can on see screen. it there, yeah. And try and get a feather shape. Okay. And Make you would carry on like that around here. And then the, you probably, that's why you go beyond the armature. You don't, the armature finishes there. So you've, see, yeah. you've put wool further than that. And then you, you end up with nice Can you overdo feathers. it, felting? Sorry? Can you, can you overdo it? You can. And it's, um, you can get to a point, especially when you're doing heads, um, if it's not going right and you're trying to get the detail of the nose and everything, you can get to a point where, you, of no return, you just can't felt it anymore. And it's pretty solid. Uh -huh. This is pretty solid as it is. I mean, you can see how much pressure I'm putting on there. But that's the way I like to felt. These are the same. They're all pretty fairly solid. Look at that. Look at that. The giraffe so, yeah. that's how you make the wings. And then you can add more detail if you want. How do you add more detail? Well, I often use Copic markers pens. Oh, right, yeah. Um, to get the shading in and get the alcohol detail. Alcohol markers. So alcohol markers. Yeah, alcohol okay. markers, yeah. Um, I have some with me somewhere. Yeah, no, that's all right. No, no, no. As long as they are um, alcohol markers. And you can get all the feather shapes, especially on the tail, <gasps> especially underneath. Very good. I see. To get characteristic markings of a barn owl. And they have these lovely white dots on the wings and on the body. So you can carry on adding more detail. This one's got glass eyes, but I'm not sure the work. So I haven't put glass eyes in the kit. Uh, all you do to create the eyes is just to um, get some little black wool, bit of black wool, which I've included. And 
you just felt it, felt it in with a sing, one of these single needles, just felt it into position. If you felt continually into one place, the wool sort of goes in yep. to the, that hole you're creating. So I think, to be honest, I think it looks more natural. Yeah, it does. And you can put a highlight in if you want as well. And the beak is just a little tiny little piece of wool. Roll it between your fingers, felt it if you can, and just felt it in position. That's just a piece of that wool just felt it down. Yeah. And to create the head shape, you just felt down into the head, leave the nose prominent and the beak, and continually felt until you get the right shape. Yeah. But they have a characteristic, like a heart shape. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. So, yeah. we can go on adding more and more detail if you wish. Yeah. Um, basically, that's it, Paula. Hey, thank you so much for that, Bruce. That is absolutely phenomenal. Now, of course, now you, you just mentioned uh, Facebook. You have got a group there. How do they find you there? Um, Good question. I'm not really very technically minded, but <laughs> well, if, if you search um, Bruce, Bruce Dobson needle felt in Perfect. on Google, you'll find all my links for oh. Facebook. Yeah, whichever. Yeah, social Instagram and <laughs> Twitter. All the social media. All the social media. Look for Bruce Dobson, and you will find him. Uh, you'll find the amazing uh, man that is Bruce. And of course, you, there will be more information, and maybe you can share your projects there. And of course, maybe you want to go for, for the panda op option for twelve pounds. I think uh, it is. Look at that. Look at. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. I think that is correct. That I've got to look at him, and you would be able to start. Maybe you want to create a little panda for your, you know, maybe you have got a little one or something like that. Uh, zero three three uh, five two seven is your item number. Now, of course, remember that you are getting the wool as well, and of course the tools that you needed. Then we have got the uh, the Henry the bear, and you have got him here. Like, look at him, how cute he is. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price and 039631 is your item number then we are moving into we now go for natasha and of course natasha we have got her hair natasha the hair now this is very popular and of course with those big eyes i'm not surprised uh, 333618 is your item number and look at that even the tail at the bottom you know look at the look at look at the tail coming up it's so cute well i'm saying bye bye and see you later uh, no, that's Natasha. Uh, 33618 is your item number. Now, where's the, the elegance of the Westy? The kind of really wideness. Now, of course, you w this is the finished piece that you will achieve. Remember that every kit comes with instructions, detailed instructions. It comes with the wool to make it, you know, the animal that you have chosen. Of course, you have got the, even the pipe cleaners to make sure that you wrap around those legs to make sure that the felt uh, will, it will attach itself to it. And those instructions are all important instructions. One, two, five, four, three, eight is your item number. Twenty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. And then we are going to the. I love the barn owl. It's my favorite. Unapologetically, I will say that this is my favorite. It's just a way that it's just kind of it has got those wise eyes. The kind of the beautiful nature of here. And of course, it has got the immovability with the the wings in here. And of course, you can finish up as 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 Bruce was mentioning with maybe alcohol markers to create even more sh detail into here. How he has shown us how to create those wings. Uh, you know those feathering effects in the tail. And of course on the wings itself look how beautiful and dimensional look at the feet remember that you have got the instructions included and of course you can catch up the, uh, the this show and if you want to see bruce how he did every single element of the different elements uh, you can have got up to 60 days on rewind on the website hotchina.com and that means that you will have the ability to re-watch uh, any of those um, the elements that bruce has done remember that bruce else also is on social media so you can find him and maybe be part of that Facebook group so with felting guidance as well now for any of the skits that we have shown you today you have got the wool to make create your elements you're the wire the felting kits you have got everything on the website of course you can see there exactly all the kits that you have we have got 
and of course you have got in there the different options that you can have obviously if you want to go for felting pads and needles we have got that option as well there or even if you wanted some inspiration for a book with a book or with other different uh, artists in there you have got those books as well available on the website but I just think I do not look Herbert did, Herbert did you have fun uh, Herbert well look at that well I have had a lot of fun hmm are you gonna come back again to see us Oh, look at that and imagine this is what you could be able to create at uh, this amazing animal but of course do check out your baskets because let's put him Herbert oh it's just he's waving Bruce did you enjoy your eye uh... very good thank you very much oh. Paula yes but... thoroughly thoroughly enjoyable Thank you so much, Bruce. It's been a pleasure to have you and seeing all, with all the animals that you have brought us, all that inspiration. Maybe you want to start your felting journey or you are an expert at uh, felter and you want to get into articulated uh, little animals made out of felt. In whichever case, this is for you. Check out your baskets and thank you so much for the, your company and one new one day special after the break with Haley and Pig Fresh. Thank you.